Good day. This is Scott WA9WFA and I'm here with a video uh, demonstrating my HBR13 receiver. The HBR13 was the last in the series of receivers designed by Ted Crosby W6TC um, starting with the uh, HBR14 in the late 50s. Then he came out with the HBR16 then the HBR8, HBR11, and then the HBR13. And Ted Crosby wrote these articles in QST, you know, over a many year period. And I think 1965 was the last article which talked about the HBR13 here. Um, I'd never built a radio before. And so this was my very first radio project. And uh, if you've never built one before, an HBR13 before, I would highly advise not building this for your first project, okay? Um, it was very complicated. Um, I had a lot of learning to do. I still do, but I had a lot of learning to do. It took me uh, a couple of years to build it, you know, with some time off in between, you know, where I kind of ran out of energy. But this is... Based on his article, I haven't made any modifications. Um, so everything is pretty much original as the way he designed it. Um, some of the key features of the HBR13, it's a dual conversion receiver. The first IF is uh, 1610 kilohertz and the second IF is 100 kilohertz. So I've got it set up here. We're going to listen around the 40 meter band a little bit. Um, it's about 3.55 p.m. in the afternoon on 40 meters. And we're just going to take a spin around the band. So we're just starting out down at the low end of the CW portion. The tuning is really smooth. Uh, the main feature of the HBR13, really, the front panel is the uh, Eddie Stone 898 vernier dial. It is just as smooth as can be. As you can see here in the video, I don't have anything marked yet because it's not calibrated. You know, I just got it running not too long ago and it, there's still a few things that I need to work on. but it's got a very nice audio. It's got plenty of gain. Um, I've been working on a smaller receiver project since then, and there was never enough gain. Uh, this time there's plenty of gain because there's an RF amplifier. There's uh, the first IF amplifier gain stage. There's multiple second IF amplifier gain stages and two audio stages. So. There's plenty of uh, system gain. So my goal was to build a communications grade receiver. Um, I shouldn't have done it for my first project, but I did. And uh, this is communications grade. Um, I have a few things I need to work on. The uh, automatic gain control is not working yet, so I, I have some issue with that that I need to look into. So this is uh, the FT8 up at 70, 74 kilohertz. Then we'll head up into the sideband portion. One of the features of the HBR designs, all of them, they have a regenerative uh, amplifiers, like the mixer amplifiers regenerative. 
So you can easily crank the gain up till the whole thing overloads. Um, so really it's, it's having to learn how to fine tune the various gain stages. And from what I've read, the technique that's been learned since the 60s is to not provide a whole lot of gain uh, ahead of the mixer, but then put the gain in the IF stages. So in this case, today I have the RF gain cranked all the way up and we're moderating the mixer gain and IF gain. I intend to use this mainly for CW, but it's nice to know that I can copy single sideband because I have been thinking about building a single sideband transmitter to go with this. So I can demonstrate how you can easily overload the gain stages. So very easy to get a lot of gain to get too much gain out of it. So it sounds good. It does need a warm up to stabilize. It has, uh, well, it's an HBR 13, but I better count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So 12 tubes because I've got solid state diodes in the power supply. So that's a demonstration of the HBR receiver. The audio sounds really good. I think I need to fine tune the, the BFO alignment and look at that AGC problem. But uh, other than that, I'm really pleased with it. Um, I need to wind some coils for it. Um, I have a 40 meter set that came with an old Junker HBR that I acquired uh, long ago to use parts from. And some of these parts are unobtainium, but I do have the coil forms to wind uh, sets of coils for 80. I've got these 40 and 20 meters. Those are really the three bands that I plan on uh, using this on. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that 20 meters uh, will be stable because 40 certainly is and if 40 is I imagine 80 will be. So 40 is just starting to open up in the late afternoon. But uh, I think a matching single sideband transmitter would be really dandy to go with this uh, homemade station. And that really has been my goal ever since I was a novice in 1967, is to build my own station. And, you know, not marginal, but uh, an actually good station that I would enjoy using on the air. And this HBR 13 uh, really does a nice job. I wish it had... Um, more filtering on it and so my plan is to since I have all this gain is to put some passive audio filters in for CW and sideband uh, especially CW to narrow that up you know I wouldn't mind getting you know 800 Hertz that would be very nice so again lots of gain 
and it should be a lot smoother once I get the EGC going. So anyway, I've had uh, I've been telling friends about my HBR 13 as I uh, built it, and then uh, telling them, oh, it sounds pretty darn good, but uh, it's only a rumor, right? Because uh, I've never demonstrated it to anybody before, so this is my first chance uh, to demonstrate the HBR 13, at least on 40 meters. And I'm, I'm really pleased with it. And I'm going to make another video right after this one. And we're just going to kind of go through the mechanics a little bit and talk about it. Because uh, there's a lot going on here. And that's one of the reasons I don't recommend this for a beginner. Because there's a lot of learning that uh, takes place here. So anyway, this is the HBR 13 as built by WA9WFA. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.